Let the coming. union players get down to business in earnest tomorrow. The start of the Courage Championship and the Pilkington Cup all are without a fixture. In the Pilkington Cup, the North West's participants include Sedgley Park, who will pull off a giant killing act if they win their home tie with Leeds of the National League Division 3. Such a result would surprise many, but perhaps not everyone. A small club they may be, but they're not afraid of thinking big. People who will never make the grade as prop forwards are welcome within Sedgley Park Rugby Club these days. The club at Whitefield in North Manchester is getting used to a different kind of sidestep. Links with the local community are an important part of a strategy designed to win a place among rugby union's elite, as is the recruitment from New Zealand of their first team coach, Val Baker, a former All Black international. I think the ambition of the club at this stage, well I know the ambition of the club is to just, obviously is the up in National League One. And while that may seem a little dramatic at this stage, we've all got to start somewhere. And as we spoke earlier on, you've only got to mention, oh, 20 years ago, uh, they were probably at the same stage as we are. We don't expect to take that long. From Division One of the North West League, they face a tough journey. But stubborn determination counts for much in rugby union, and club chairman Dave Smith and his committee believe that improving their facilities, encouraging youth rugby, and achieving success with the first team will pay off even with rugby league and professional football well entrenched in the area. We've all got a big affinity to rugby union. Um, we, we've got a love for the game. Um, and the reason why we feel as though it, uh, we, we want to promote it so much is that we've got uh, juniors that want to play. We feel as though it's good, it takes children off the streets. It's a good social game. Uh, it teaches good team spirit uh, and it is good for, for uh, for later life, if you like. The absence of any grandstand or cover for spectators hasn't deterred them from offering sponsorship packages and hospitality opportunities, making use of a clubhouse extended recently by the efforts of the members themselves. Tomorrow's match gives the players a chance to make their mark and to demonstrate a changing attitude. There's still a sort of a friendly atmosphere about the game. You know, we have these friendly matches and then we have league matches. Well, uh, I just, I'm trying to get rid of that friendly atmosphere, you know, on the rugby pitch. I've never known how to play friendly rugby, and uh, so the players are gradually getting into that committed mode, you know. Leeds may feel the impact tomorrow. Others will certainly do so in the future. Charles Lambert on the small club with the big ambitions. Here's the region's weather now, and the isolated thundery...